guys, welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. So tonight I am making a chicken cordon bleu one pot meal. It's a 30 minute meal, so let's get going. All right, so we're going to dice up two skinless boneless chicken breasts into half inch pieces. I have a Dutch oven preheating over medium high heat. Once it does get up to heat, I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of butter and a turn of the pan of olive oil. You wanna make sure that the chicken pieces are approximately the same size so they can cook together. So first we're just going to brown the chicken just to get some color on it. It doesn't mean that it has to be cooked all the way through because it will finish in the pot. spoon of butter so I can start to get melty. I'm going to put in a couple turns of the pan of olive oil. I'm going to let that melt first before I add the chicken in. Okay, so the butter is starting to melt. I'm going to add the chicken into the pan. While that starts to brown on that side, I'm just using the same cutting board only because everything is going into there and everything is going to be getting cooked. I have some leftover ham. And you want thick cut ham, I just cut it to the slice that I prefer. We're going to dice it and we're going to do one cup of the ham. You can use like a ham steak if you want to. Um, you can go to the deli and ask for thick cut ham. Right, so that one slice did it. I'll use the rest of the ham in the week for breakfast sandwiches. Why that's still browning up, I am going to cut up a medium size onion. You just want it diced as well. You can use these skins to make stock. Just put them in a bag, put them in the freezer until you get it full. You can make stock in a crock pot if you want to just to make a quick, small batch. If you don't use all that stock, you can put it in a bag once it's cool and actually freeze it. You just want to make sure that you lay it flat, just so you have the room in your freezer after. These diced up. Make sure you just keep your fingers out of the way. All right. And this will give you plenty of leftovers. We're gonna use leftovers for the week. I have two cups of Swiss cheese. I grated it myself. It was just cheaper in the long run for me to shred it only because you can get two eight ounce packages for five bucks or you can get an eight ounce block of cheese for $4.79 at least at our stop and shop. So let's give the chicken a turn. I'm gonna get nice lightly golden brown. I always use a wooden spoon. I have, hold on, let me pull you around. I have three cups of a short grain pasta. Doesn't matter what you use, as long as it's a short grain. And you want something that will stand up to the sauce and everything itself. I have some whole grain Dijon mustard, minced onion, garlic powder, parsley. This is my sauce, this is three and a half cups. And that's what I'm talking about, using your scraps and everything to make your own stock. It's much cheaper, more efficient, and you're not having anything go to waste. I have the diced ham all ready. And let me bring you over. So you want just a nice golden brown color. 
I just want to get it on all sides. So let's get this cooking. Right. So now that the chicken is a light golden brown, I'm just going to use a slotted spoon and take the chicken out. The Dutch oven is still on a medium high heat. Put that over to the side. So we are going to add in the onion. The one cup of ham. you're going to do one teaspoon of minced onion a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of dried parsley you're going to do half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and you can always change this too to your preference to what you want. I am going to do a heaping teaspoon of Dijon. All right, so we're going to give that a mix. I'm going to bring you in. Chicka, chicka, choo, choo. All right, so you just want to get it nice and mixed. So that the spices hit the heat and you can smell them starting to bloom. All right, we're gonna let this cook for about three minutes. I wish you could smell this right now. The smell of that Dijon hitting that cast iron is delectable, especially with all these other spices as well. It's really starting to make it smell like a chicken cordon bleu. Can't wait for this to be finished. All right, so now that the onions and the ham have some color on them, we're going to return the chicken back into the pot. Make sure you get all the juices from the plate. Give that a nice stir. All right. We're going to add in the three and a half cups of stock. Use vegetable or chicken. Give that a nice stir. Turn it up to high. I'm going to partially cover it so it can come up to a boil real quick. All right, so it is up to a full rolling boil. We're going to add just three cups of pasta. Get the pasta stir inside of all the broth. Now this is going to soak up most of the liquid. All right, so we're going to turn it down to right between low and medium low this and you want to make sure you stir this frequently because you don't want that pasta to scorch and stick to the bottom of the Dutch oven so about every two minutes just give it a little zhuzh with your spoon. Make sure that you're going to be stirring this pasta every couple minutes because it does get stuck together a little bit. Just make sure everything's in there and just continue continue sorry can't speak today continue to stir every couple minutes for about 10 to 15 minutes until the pasta is cooked through. Right, as the pasta is almost done, I'm going to put another heaping teaspoon of whole grain Dijon mustard. Give that a nice stir. And you want to make sure the pasta, when it's done cooking, you want it to be al dente, which means to the tooth, because it is going to finish carry over cooking. So let's see how that guy is. You want to make sure that most most of this liquid has been absorbed. So it's going to simmer for another five minutes. Then we're going to add the cheese. Okay. So we're going to add in three tablespoons of milk. You can also use heavy cream. And you want to do half of the two cups. You can do a little more. 
because the remaining is going to be for the top because we are going to broil it. So let me turn on my broiler on high. So that's getting nice and warm. Let's place this through. So the cheese can be nice and melted. You could also use Gruyere if you would like to as well because that is another good cheese for chicken cordon bleu. Another sprinkle of some black pepper. So I'm going to stir, 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 and so make sure that all that cheese is melted. All right. Even out the top. Put the rest of the cheese on the top of this. And we are going to pop this bad boy into the oven. We're gonna broil it on high until the cheese is nice and bubbly. This is then pulled out of the oven. It's still bubbling. Cheese is nice and golden brown. So now we're gonna serve and I'm gonna top it with a little bit of parsley.